Hey everyone, this is Battlecrom, and we're back. This is Farming Simulator 22. Uh, we're gonna play the new. We're gonna play it in Farm Manager mode, and we're gonna play the new map that just came out. This one right here, the Estancia Seo Carlos. I don't know. I can't say that. I, I'm not Portuguese. This map, though, I mean, uh, when it comes to Farming Simulator, uh, it, I've always found the, the Brazil Brazilian maps to be really good. Uh, here's the mods I got on here. I got quite a few on here. Mostly this is just equipment. There's some uh, some that do affect the play though. Like uh, of course I got the GPS mod on here. There it is, GPS, and a couple other I don't know quality of life mods. But mostly it's just equipment and placeables. All right, we'll set up our character. Ah, yeah, look at that. That's a handsome looking dude right there. Got the whole handlebar mustache there. He looks, he looks like someone to work on a farm, right? Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. Now, farm manager, though, you do start with this truck right here. I'm not sure why I did. I mean, I don't get any equipment except for that truck, so I guess it's nice. All right, so there's two farms. Um two preset farms I guess you would say you got uh, one up here and then there's one down here this one has a uh, a cattle cattle barn that starts on it and this one has a, uh, a sheep barn that starts on it um you know I don't I don't know I don't think I'll be immediately getting into cattle Although I do like the fact that this also has a, uh, oh, what do you call it? It's one of those bunkers on it, this silage bunker. It has a silage bunker on it. But I kind of like this farm a little better over here. And see, they both start with, well, that one starts with a bigger field, but also costs more money. So this one's also a cheaper farm. And it, it, I mean, all the fields on this map are, are pretty big. So, not a lot of fields though, huh? Maybe 20, what is that, 25, 26 fields, somewhere along there. All right, so we probably will have to do, I'm sure we'll do some contracting too. Let's go ahead and start with this farm right here. Okay, so we'll buy that for 417,000. And... Let's ride over there and take a look at it. That's our farm right there. Mm, our turnoff should be coming right up here. There it is, right there. That's our field. Uh oh, I wonder what's over there. Hope it's not potatoes. I don't want to start with potatoes. Soybeans. Eh, soybeans is alright, I guess. Jeez, look at all the weeds. I wonder when this is going to be ready to harvest. Let's see. Um. Soybeans, so oh, that's not going to be harvesting for a couple more months. We could get rid of these weeds. I don't know if we could do lime now that it's already planted. Hmm. What's the bonus on right now? 40%. Okay. Well, it's only 50% fertilized. We could put another fertilization on it. We could put some herbicide on it. That'll increase the yield. Just to get the money off the crop. Alright, here's our house right here. Or shack, I guess. <laughs> There's like a chicken thing going on here. 
I was trying to figure out where the chickens go. I guess they just kind of run around here wild. I don't know. This is the sheep pen right here. It's a good size sheep pen. Got some nice big structures here. Put our stuff. I like this one. I like the way it looks. And uh, is that fuel? Uh, that must be fuel. And okay, water tower right here. Has to be what that is. But there's a pond back here though. So I'm like, hey, there's free water right here. Another reason why I like this farm. You got this pond right here. You just back it in. So we'll set up some greenhouses here. And uh Yeah. We'll use this field right here. Probably I'm probably not gonna replant soybean though. Um let's see, when do we have to plant? Let's see, soybeans go Okay, we can harvest the soybeans hopefully here in October. I hope it's not a November crop. If we harvest it here, we should be able to just turn right around and replant it with like uh, wheat or barley. I want to do the grains. That way we can have the uh, flower production facility. So it'll be wheat, barley, oat, and isn't there one more? Sorghum. Sorghum is one. So let's see. Let's let's go park our truck here. I've been playing Farming Simulator for years. I started out playing uh Farming Simulator 15, I think, was the first one I got. I might have had 13, but I wasn't, I couldn't, I didn't really like it very much. I, I think I barely played it. 15 I played a lot, though. Was it, was it 15? Uh, maybe it was 17. 17, I think, was the one. I think I had 15 I didn't play very much, and then 17 I did play quite a bit, and then 19 I just played a lot. So when 22 came out, you know, I definitely wanted to play it. Um, I think it's just now really kind of coming into its own now. Because, you know, the best thing about 19 was all the mods. And when this game first came out, it didn't have a lot of mods. It wasn't as interesting. But now that you got, you got the GPS mod, you got the Follow Me mod, and now you're starting to get some different maps, I think it's definitely gotten a lot better. So I think we need to put some placeables down. Let's see. Maybe right. Let's put it right there. Oh, that might be good. Put one there. Yeah, we'll do them like that. Looks pretty good. Got plenty of room in here to get the pallets. Okay, I'll probably grow lettuce. Alright, 944,000 we got left. We need... We're going to need a tractor. Let's see what used equipment's around. Now well, this vulture tractor does seem like a pretty good deal. Uh, let's look at it for customization. We, we would want the GPS. Let's go with the narrow tires. Mm. Yeah, we'll get it just like that. You know, let's look at our settings here. We'll probably, we'll probably keep that at five times, and then we'll just see how much we can get done in a day. If it's too slow, we'll speed it up later on. Or if we need to slow it down, we'll slow it down. Uh, economic difficulty, yeah, we'll keep that there. Seasonal growth on one day. 
crop destruction on, yes. Plowing, I do like plowing. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Limestone, sure. Weeds, yeah. Let's set all this to manual. Okay. Oh, wait. Let's turn off the autosave. Save it when I want to save it. What if we just got this and didn't get the extra tank? Do we really need it? I mean, we could always get the extra tank later. This would save a lot of money. Let's just go with this right now. Okay. Just get back out of the way a little bit here. Uh, let's put herbicide down first. There we go. See the back of that tractor sinking down. Looks like we got enough weight though. The front end's holding down pretty good. tires are working. Let's start on the other side of the field though. Fold the sprayer. Mm, looks like we need to get closer. Let's see. Just do it. Let's see. And we need to raise it. Let's see, how do you do that again? Oh, there we go. Let's get it up about there. Okay. Let's see, let's engage our GPS. Mm, if I can remember how to do that. Let's do that. 
No. No. Uh, hmm. No. Ah, there we go. Okay, GPS is on. And uh, yeah, we'll do set A and B. So let's set A right where we're at. Okay. Mm. I turn the sprayer on. Off. Let's see. Get it. Kind of right. Looks like it's tracking pretty good. Let's see if this gives us the course we want. There's set B. Mm. Let's put the lines on for right now so we can see. Guidance steering is on. Uh, oh, we're missing something here. Hold on. Let's turn that spray off. Let's do auto width. There we go. Hmm. Is that gonna. Oh, no, that looks good. That might just work. Let's see. Staying on the line there. I think that's got it right there. Alright. Spray this field down here. So I wasn't able to hold enough herbicide to do the whole field. So I kind of feel like we should buy that extra storage tank then. So let's go back down to the farm here. We'll drop off our, our weight. We'll head back to the shop to refill with some more herbicide. And I think we'll go ahead and pick up that extra tank. Because... Uh, yeah, I'd love to be able to do the whole field in one shot and I have to, like, refill. Uh, we'll put the weight, I guess, just kind of set it right here for now. Uh, there we go. Hopefully we're not too back heavy. The tank's empty, so it shouldn't be too bad. Let's head back to the shop. We have the car behind us, maybe. Okay. Is that the shop? I don't think that's it. Let's 
further down. Whoa. What did that car do to us? Man. Go up right. There we go. <sighs> These people. I can't believe that car just did that to us. That was pretty messed up. Alright. Let's get our tank. Yeah, it's only an extra $5,000 too. That's not bad actually. The rest of our herbicide. There we go. Should be enough to finish the field there, I think. drop the sprayer off I think maybe I'll keep the tank on the front for now but we need to get uh, we need to get something to move water in we need a yeah we need some kind of water trailer let's see Let's head back to the shop. She's a little squirrely. Okay, we're back here at the farm. Let's come on over here to the pond. Change our angle a little here so we can see what's going on. Okay. Let's 
Looks like we're going pretty straight. We can refill right now. And we probably went in a little further than we needed to. That's all right. It's fine. Oh, that front tank holds 1,500 liters. It holds more than the uh, sprayer does. All right, can we get out of here? Yep, we got it. Let's see, let's circle around this way. Seems like the better way to go here. Easy now. Are we close enough? Yep, there we go. We'll get some more. You know, I feel like this tank. There you go. Seems a bit heavy for this trailer. So let's drop the tank off here for a second. Let's go with our weight over here. This guy back up. There we go. some more water. Okay, mm, where should we park this tank at? Maybe let's park it in here so it's close to the uh, greenhouses. Mm, back it up a little bit, maybe right there. Or should we park it? Maybe we should do it from the side. Yeah, we'll just put it right here for right now. That'll work. Spin the track around here for a second. Alright, let's see. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Okay. Oh, looks like we can access both of them here. So let's set it for less. It's inactive, so let's activate. Uh, okay, go to this one. Activate that for lettuce. And I guess we'll leave it on storing. Oh wow, look, two of them just about filled it up. Well, I don't know, maybe we'll have these just kind of auto-sell. 
Let's see. Yeah, that way we wouldn't have to worry about them. We can just worry about our fields. All we got is put water in them. I know you don't make as much that way, but... No, we don't want distributing. Let's put it on selling. We might change it at some point. I don't know. We might want to just take the extra money and sell it ourselves. But for right now, we'll just put it on auto sell. Oh, we got our lettuce growing. Perfect. See, I think lettuce produces... It's more expensive, I think, and it produces fewer pallets, but I could be wrong on that. That way, if we just want to manually pick up the pallets and sell them, we can do that. All right, let's see if uh, we can put another layer of fertilization on our crop over here. Looks like we had enough to actually do the whole field this time. I think it's because we used the front tank instead of the tank on the sprayer. It holds more. We still got, we should still have another 500 liters back at the uh, store for next time we need to do uh, some fertilizing. Let's take a look and see what that did here. That should get us, okay we're 100% fertilized. We're getting a plus 68% yield bonus. So, yeah, if we had uh, if we had lime, I guess, I don't know what, I wonder what maximum is. Hmm. Let's go drop these off. Okay, let's take the contract. This time we are going to borrow the items. These are saying better equipment though. So I don't know if the harvester is much better, but look at that. We get we could definitely haul more around. Okay, so let's borrow the items. There we go. I feel much better about this contract now. Look at all those fertilizing contracts out there. Maybe we'll be able to run some of them tomorrow. Some of them got to carry into the next day. Yeah, I 
It's a pretty good size header on that. That is a big old field though. It's going to take a while. We're going to be running that contract into the night for sure.